a surprise for two commercial fishermen in Wiley yesterday as they pulled in a three metre white pointer shark. Although the men say it's unfortunate to lose a protected species, the accidental catch is quite a spectacle and could be preserved. It's the second time commercial fisherman Jason Wells has accidentally brought in a shark, but this time it was his partner Damien Ed who scored the catch. Yeah, I was just pulling it towards the boat. It was really quite heavy and it came tail first. Initially saddened by the accident, they quickly overcame this by tying the shark to the side of the boat, putting on a show for locals. And there was a huge crowd all of a sudden and yeah, there was a there was a crane down there from the um, from the kingfish farms that was lifting big bags of feed and they lifted her right out of the water by the tail and it was quite a spectacular sight down there and probably one that doesn't happen very often anymore. And the attention didn't stop there. Today the pair have been greeted by scores of locals keen for a first hand glimpse of the creature. After all, it's not every day you come face to face with a great white shark. The great white's the top of the food chain, you know, it's it, for over millions and millions of years it's had no need to evolve, it's just been perfect. So when, when you see one, the rare occasion you do, it's fascinating and it's, it's quite exciting. And the Maritime Museum's another party that's interested. They're looking to add the jaws from this shark to the existing display, which includes the cast of Mr Well's 2005 catch. The shark's believed to be a pup, around five years old, which Mr Mazurik says shows the quality of our waters. It's uh, fitting in, in with the theory uh, that um, we are kind of um, like a, a nursing and growing area for all sorts of fish. Like this is showing that uh, the environment looks uh, pretty healthy. Fisheries SA have conducted an autopsy and will use the shark for research and testing. Melissa Vanderhaak, Southern Cross News. Meanwhile, Port Augusta's Coast Guard fleet has been bolstered with an additional